Hey everyone, Scott Belsky here on the Adobe Mobile product team. And it's super exciting when you get to see a product that teams have been laboring over in the labs for months and months hit the world for the first time. Well, it's one of those moments. I'm here with Megan Keene, part of the Premiere Pro team and a filmmaker as well to share with us Adobe Premiere Clip. So Adobe Premiere Clip, what is it? How do you use it? What's the deal? So with Premiere Clip, our goal was to make video accessible to all creative people. Of course, like if you're a video pro, it's another great tool, but I think the best way to tell you about it is to actually show you how it works. So right. getting started in Premiere Clip is really straightforward because everything accesses your uh, camera roll. So you just select the clips that you want to use and that's, how easy it is to get a project started. You can move your clips around just with drag and drop, all sorts of cool, you know, exposure, audio, slow-mo right here on the phone. But I actually like to edit with a little more real estate. So I'm gonna jump over to my iPad if that's cool. Really cool. So you got a full editing suite on your phone. You could finish the video up if you want to there, but you could also you know, stop at any time. It's synced with your creative profile in the cloud so that you can pick up your editing where you left off in this case, on the iPad. Right, totally. So you can see I'm signed in to my creative profile here, and there's my new project. I can do all sorts of things here. I can uh, split a clip. Like if I wanted to add an effect only to one part of the clip, let's say a slow-mo, I can do that right here. Um, I can shorten clips just by dragging in the head or the tail of the clip. I can even add preset color grades that are based on grades from SpeedGrade, a like high-end professional grading app. And those grades add all the way across my sequence. So I, let's see, let's, that, I think that looks good. So right now I could share it to social media from, directly from Premiere Clip, but I can also edit it in Premiere Pro. So I can send it over to Premiere Pro. That's pretty amazing. So you started on your iPhone, you decided to pick it up uh, on your iPad with a little more workspace at your disposal, and now Premiere Pro on the desktop. And here's the best part about the jump to Premiere Pro is that you'll see like, I have all my video clips, but I also have the full timeline that I started in my iPhone right here, ready to work with in Premiere Pro. With all the edits and everything else saved. Right, and you know, it's worth mentioning, Scott, that with Premiere Clip, there's no confines. There's no templates that you have to keep in. There's no, you know, restrictions of how long or how short the video has to be. So it's really up to your creative vision of how you want things to turn out. Awesome, people are gonna love Adobe Premiere Clip hitting now. Yeah, awesome. right now. <laughs>